Hey Leo, what's up and welcome to your March reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all of your love and your support. I hope that you're having a beautiful day. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month of March. See what's coming towards you, what the vibes are like, and anything that you need to look out for. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. So let's get into this and let's see what's going on for Leo, Sun, Moon, Eyes, and Venus in March 2024. Spirit, show me clearly what do my Leos need to know, look out for, or be aware of in March 2024. What's going on for Leo? Ooh, starting off strong, we have the Magician with the Four of Cups at the bottom okay so there's some things that you may not be seeing 100 percent clearly just yet leo but guess what your manifestations are coming they're on their way it's not a matter of if it's just a matter of when but you don't need to worry about that you are doing everything you need to manifest your dream life and reality it's happening it's happening in march you're getting it all that you wanted and more Bottom of the deck with the Four of Cups, we're just saying, like, where? Where is it at, Jade? I don't see it. It's not good enough. I'm feeling bored. I'm feeling stuck. It's just not fulfilling. Like, what the heck? There's some things that you may not be seeing that you might not be aware of. Maybe you need to watch out of your attitude. Maybe you need to just shake some things up in your routine, in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe things have gotten a little old, a little stale, a little repetitive. Maybe it's time for a change. <sighs> This might be about your job, too. We have the Emperor and then Four of Wands. There may be some sort of shift taking place in your professional life or in your career, okay? So, yeah, you, we'll see where this is going. Knight of Wands and the Devil, though. You need to watch out of what you are getting involved in, okay? Or certain agreements that are being made, Three of Pentacles, certain like obligations that may end up being more than you could hand not not that you couldn't handle it you totally could as an emperor but it's just it's more like do you want to get involved in something that now you're like locked in and there's no going back and now you're stuck with it so you know this is a time especially as we're approaching mercury retrograde pre-shadow begins i think on the 18th um, it won't officially go retrograde until April 1st, but this is kind of the time where it's like you, when it comes to your commitments and things that you're trying to call in and manifest right now, you want to be a little extra cautious, never settle, okay? You better not be settling. Um, so just know what you're getting yourself involved in before making any big promises or big fat decisions or commitments. Let's just see where this is going. Show me clearly what am I going <laughs> Okay, we're not going to take these cards, but I, the only one I will take is this Eight of Cups, because that's the only one that came out face up. All these are going to go back in. I'm seeing that you're leaving something behind here. Bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles. So you've been taking stock, you've been taking count, you've been analyzing the situation, and you've been... You've made some adjustments, you've made some tweaks... You gave us some time to see what would happen, if there was going to be any improvements, if there was, if there wasn't. Most likely, if you're leaving behind something that you've been putting in a lot of effort, a lot of time and energy, and you're walking away, it's because you're not seeing those results, or you're not getting what you want out of the situation. So, you're moving on. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords the moon you're gonna have more clarity by the end of the month most likely around the 25th when we have the eclipse in libra you are going to see things crystal clear okay you might want to give it a little bit more time for swords you might want to give this maybe another week maybe another two maybe give yourself to the end of march before you fully decide whether or not you want to go through with this but i mean you're gonna get your clarity on what direction you need to go down or if you should leave this behind but it is looking like you're gonna be manifesting if you're manifesting a move you're manifesting leaving a job a relationship a home something in your life that you really have just outgrown i see that march might be the month for you 
not might it is it is march is the month claim it comment it down below whatever this is that you're wanting to move away from march is the month where you're moving away from it comment it down below all right affirm that shit in the comments make it an affirmation say it to yourself in the morning throughout the day before you go to sleep really affirm it in your mind okay because if you can see it in your mind's eye then it's already a reality and it's about you shifting to that reality and it can happen in march all right we're in pisces season let yourself dream a little bit let yourself be a little delusional okay <laughs> um it, it will happen if you believe it it will happen all right what's going on for leo seven of wands so some of you you feel like you have to defend your actions you have to defend yourself or come up with the reasons as to why you're leaving or why you're doing this or why you've decided to move in this direction you may feel like you have to owe someone an explanation or you feel like you have to defend and protect yourself or you know just in this new direction that you're moving towards you kind of feel on edge you feel on guard you don't feel a hundred percent like you can truly trust this path or trust yourself or trust other people um it's a little uncomfy it's just a little uncomfy king of wands king of swords and then the two of pentacles so i see you kind of fluctuating between being like okay optimistic yeah i got this like i know it. this is gonna be fine like king of wands he's very charismatic he's very outgoing he never really doubts himself like what you know what he wants happens comes to fruition like when he's set on something he will make it happen but then the king of swords he's more practical and he's like okay like is this, am i being realistic here like this is where your mind and your soul is kind of like clashing a little bit and there's this fluctuation two of pentacles so you kind of keep going back and forth a little bit um ten of cups ace of wands i'm seeing there's something new in relating to your home there's new pa new projects new projects new like passions um things around the home though things that you can do that are rewarding though six of pentacles like i'm seeing that there's some sort of reward that comes from this or like it feels good there's something in march that will be a good not distraction but just like a good focus from whatever this is this main storyline okay so there's a, there's a few things that you can you know take this off your mind take this off your brain for a moment and just kind of like lose yourself in your passions and your creativities and your hobbies in just more fun joyful times so definitely you won't fall short on that in march but anyways let's see where this is going for leo what's going on leo? <laughs> well give me a second empress at the bottom um they all flew over here okay so here's one card six of cups it was in the reverse hold on there's like fuzz okay we have the two of wands in the reverse hold on oh leo why <laughs> hold on <laughs> there we go what is it page of swords okay all right sorry about that i can't control this deck has a mind of its own it fucking has a mind of its own okay let's see what came out okay six of cups reverse notice we go eight seven six we're counting backwards we're going backwards in a way are you backtracking okay so six of cups reversed knight of cups reversed two of wands reversed page of swords and the king of pentacles um i'm gonna i'll i'll read this quickly i'll put these cards back in and i'll shuffle it again because i normally don't take this many cards i'm like i don't even i don't even know there's too much to talk about six of cups reverse let's talk about that some things from your past being brought up that left a bad taste in your mouth there's something okay so this is mercury retrograde vibes as well as eclipse vibes bringing up matters from your past that's unfinished business incomplete cycles lessons that still need to be learned but this is kind of like blast from the past okay you might actually uncover new information or there might be conversations or clarity that you're getting on these past events um and maybe this is relating to love knight of cups reverse people that you've had endings with though or people that you are no longer emotionally invested in or connected to or no longer have feelings for um 
I don't know, there's a choice that you have to make or are in the process of making. And, um, you know, it, it shows like you're being pretty grounded, pretty stable, pretty sure of yourself. So I don't know. Let's just put these cards back. I don't know how if that's relevant to this situation or not. But let me try again. And let me just uh, try to make sure this deck doesn't explode everywhere. It happened to me the other day as well. I was like, yo, what's going on? Like maybe I'm just too heavy-handed on the cards. <laughs> All right. Show me clearly what's going on for Leo in the month of March. That didn't come out. One card for Leo. Page of Wands. Five of Wands. Some people are saying that you're being overly optimistic or like... You feel... The Seven of Wands, Page of Wands, is kind of forceful. There's like this forceful, trying open, or trying to, f what's this, Five of Wands, Judgment Reverse, and then the King of Wands. You have a lot of fire in this reading, like a lot of fire. Huh. Judgment reverse. This is bringing up something from your past with the five of wands. Like there's there's um some tension. There's some conflict. There may be some drama, or something that is challenging you in a way, or someone's challenging you. You're being challenged. Your optimism is being challenged here, or like your character is being challenged or something that you're saying or you're basically the actions that you're taking someone's trying to challenge you on that being like oh yeah are you sure do you really mean that like someone is maybe is it the divine that's challenging you <laughs> are there just situations coming up that are challenging you to see how serious you are about this or how certain you are about this Typically, the Page of Wands is a part of, like, good news, celebration, inspiration, motivation. Like, there's this new drive. There's just, like, you're you're ready to go. But that, with that Five of Wands, is saying that there's a bit of, like, hmm, like, you're being pulled in different directions or being spread thin. Okay, where is this going? What can Leo expect in the month of March 2024? Ten of Pentacles and when we have death at the bottom. There's something that's changing quite drastically. We have death, emperor, and the eight of pentacles in your work. Something that you're working on or your career or your like your professional life. There's something that's shifting or changing. Ace of Swords and the Three of Cups. It's positive though. It is positive, okay? So let me just make this clear. This shift, this change that's occurring, it's something that you've worked for or something that you've been really like showing up consistently for. But it's most likely about the work that you do or some sort of skill that you have. But it's changing quite drastically. And I feel like there's a lot of abundance actually coming towards you. Ten of Pentacles. That's stability. That's security. That's harmony. This is about um, even like celebration. Like you may actually have something that that you're celebrating this month. Um, there's some sort of change taking place maybe in your home. This is something that you fought for. Or you, you wanted to give up at one point. Or just quit at one point, but you didn't. <clears throat> What's going on for Leo in March 2024? Thank you. Eight of Swords with the Queen of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. <sighs> so, there's all this good stuff coming in. Or positive traction, positive momentum. But there's moments where you're in your head... And you're, you're just trying to make sure that everything lines up and everything has a place and a spot. And like you, you just want to make sure that you didn't forget anything. You didn't you didn't um, misplace something or forget a step or two or three or four. Like, you know, you, you just there's a few fears here. 
but that queen of swords she's clearing it out she's clearing through it and she's able to kind of maneuver her way through the uncertainty um and the best approach is knight of pentacles to take your time but here oh whoa what look at this there's a meeting knight of pentacles to a knight of wands two different individuals they're they're coming together right coming together and underneath that we have a six of cups there's something here from your past someone from your past that's making a return queen of pentacles seven of cups and the moon your initial reaction to this you might not know what to do or how to approach or how to handle this or what to say or you know it's it's bringing up a whole bunch of different emotions and it can be a bit overwhelming and i see that because the emotions are so overwhelming king of swords you're going to kind of get back into this cool detached um putting your emotions kind of on the back burner king of swords emperor underneath that though we do have the queen of cups page of cups reverse so you're not revealing it you're not expressing it so you're showing up there's someone that you're dealing with in march it could be a capricorn or someone with earth placements we have a queen of pentacles it could be a mother or someone who embodies the energy of a mother or someone who's very like loving sweet caring passionate compa yeah compassionate and passionate too but i would rate it more like compassionate gentle soft sweet um this is someone that you have a past with or this is someone that you have some history with six of cups what the hell is this reading <laughs> i don't know but okay where is this going um what are they offering let's look into this yeah let's see <clears throat> What are you leaving behind, though? That Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, Seven of Wands. Okay, no, let, let me just look into the Eight of Cups first. Okay, because you're, like, taking some sort of action. You're moving on, letting some things go, leaving some things in the past. You know, Ten of Swords and the Chariot as I split the deck. Okay, endings and moving forwards from those endings, from the pain, from some sort of loss. Um, just trying to keep your head up. For the Eight of Cups, what is Leo moving away from? eight of swords fear we have that coming out again fear as well as restrictions and uncertainty what's at the bottom the seven of swords fear of not knowing what's around the corner seven of swords and then the page of wands you, it's like that eight of swords was blocking you from being optimistic about the future or like there is this little voice in the back of your mind that was like kind of psyching you out eight of cups so that's something that you're leaving behind is that doubtful voice or that voice that was saying it's not gonna happen it's never gonna come to fruition or it's not it's it's gonna take too long or you'll be dead by the time you have it like <laughs> fucking things like that temperance and oh that seven swords is meant to come out okay seven of pentacles reversed at the bottom, seven, seven, eight, eight, and judgment. Eight of cups reverse. There's something returning to, um, with but it's with a different approach, or something's changed, or something's no longer the same as it was. Something's like morphed into something else, because there's this alchemy, right? With with temperance, there is this like coming together, um, this blending of opposites what are you planning there's something that you're planning here that you've been very patient about that's been in the works for quite some time And you, you can't wait any longer. That's the thing. Judgment and then the seven of pentacles reverse and then the eight of cups. Reverse. Like you can't wait any longer. Like there's no more time left to just wait around and let things happen. Like I feel like you're being asked to like take some sort of step forward. Seven of wands again. We're going to clarify that with the judgment card. You're, you're being pushed to take some sort of action or to take the lead let me see seven of wands 
you might be kind of hesitant to or you might be kind of closed off to taking this action right now or a little bit like in protect mode like you're trying to protect yourself look out for yourself um because you're just untrusting of others right now or just unsure of where this is going seven of wands for leo what do we have king of cups so follow your intuition follow your gut and follow your heart is what i'm seeing but you're also trying to protect your emotions and your vulnerable side send me come with the seven of wands nine of swords yeah like there's this anxiety there's this anxiousness you don't want to be seen as someone who's being like weak or you know you're not weak and showing your vulnerable side is not a weakness, but, um, yeah, you just, you need to take this slow. Whatever this is, I still, I still, I, Leo, I don't know, but we are needing to move slowly. Knight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, because there's some things here that you need to consider. Ten of Cups underneath the Two of Wands, Ten of Cups reverse. There's some choices you'll have to make that may be uncomfortable, that might be probably will involve other people maybe your home maybe your family or friends um you're gonna have to put yourself first here that's a thing nine of cups to the ten of cups reverse other people might not be happy but you will be happy so the choice that you'll be making will benefit you but i don't know if it's going to benefit other people um and you just want to do the right thing, Nine of Swords and the Magician. Like, you're overthinking some sort of action or some sort of step or some sort of plan here. You're needing to trust yourself, but at this moment, it's kind of hard to see where things are going. All right. Page of Wands. What's this Page of Wands about? Because there's some sort of news coming in or some sort of information or offer i mean what's this page of wands about queen of cups so now we have a pair we have the king of cups now we have a queen so there's this it's this this um meeting of two different energies right from earlier which we'll get to that but so there's somebody here who wants to talk wants to have a chat wants to see you this could be again someone who you're relating to family or someone that was close to you or was once close to you or you you may have considered them family if they're not by bud let's see page of wands please so this could be a water sign knight of wands it's the knight of wands from earlier see okay tired of this page of wands there could be stuff coming up about money inheritance finances um loans or money like money and it's eight of cups reverse it's something from your past being brought up okay so there's someone from your past here here's a page of pentacles an offer being presented with ace of swords and page of cups reverse so after like honestly after like probably very poor little to zero communication or blockages in communication it's being cleared ace of swords is the opportunity to express the truth bring clarity and clear out any misunderstandings or uh, just like clearing the air and seeing things from a fresh perspective so and it's coming from this Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands person. Someone with heavy water and a little bit of fire energy. So this is somebody here who is making a return and coming through to offer what? That's, that's what we're going to find out. But so this individual, you're kind of like on guard or on the defense or on protect mode. Now, hold on. Before I clarify what they're coming to you with, let me just see what this Ten of Pentacles is because it's coming, they're coming to you with the Ten of Pentacles. Right? What do we clarify again? The Page of Wands. They're coming to you with some sort of. What is this Ten of Pentacles? What is this Ten of Pentacles? I'm hearing like the key to something. Or, like they're holding a door for you to walk through if you want to walk through it. Come with this Ten of Pentacles. There's stability here. Ace of Pentacles and the High Priestess Reverse. So this could be around the Eclipse, around the 25th. Um, this is Pisces Energy. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. So they're they're holding out. See, like there's a door for you to walk through, right? You see this little archway? They're holding some sort of... What is this? Hold on. <laughs> Ace of Cups also at the bottom. There's new energy, new start here. Six of Swords, an opportunity for you to start fresh or to start... 
living more peacefully four swords was at the bottom kind of the ten of pentacles especially if money has been a problem i feel like nine of wands seeing this is something that you're on the defense about you're not fully trusting it or you're very cautious about and you have reasons for it king of wands reverse so you're feeling kind of frustrated because this was unexpected tower and the page of swords yeah then the chariot so there and the wheel of fortune but this is this is going to be around the eclipse you guys this most likely hasn't happened yet justice underneath with the wheel of fortune this is the eclipse that's turning pages turning tides like this is significant divinely orchestrated events taking place that are here to bring in significant change that you're kind of on the defense about or you're kind of not fully trusting at this moment and it makes sense and it's okay but there is a cycle that's closing out and a new cycle is trying to begin here and we have the star and the strength like this is actually going to be really positive there could be some some sort of event that's connected to january or an event that was connected back in august of 2023 or this could be hinting at something in august of 2024 take it however it applies okay but there's these timelines unfolding and there's this news or information coming in that's like unexpected but it gets this ball rolling and it's it's making things happen very quickly very fast but i'm seeing like for you king of wands reverse and the nine of wands like you're kind of fed up or you're kind of frustrated or you're kind of like i don't know you're not feeling super pumped about this you're feeling like how are you feeling about this where are we at with the time shit we gotta <sighs> i guess it doesn't matter how you're feeling about it like kind of what i said i don't need to dive deeper it doesn't matter everybody's gonna be feeling differently you just feel a little in your head okay you feel a little stuck so let's see this knight of wands and see who they are like not, not who they are it doesn't matter you know who they are i don't someone from your past someone you have history with what are they coming to you with like what are they offering here here you here i can't even speak y'all knight of wands for leo what's this offer it's a surprise offer knight of wands for leo what's this offer Death is ready. Knight of Wands. What's the offer coming in? Oh! <laughs> whoa! Okay, whoa. Hold on. The devil came out. I was like, mm. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Tell me the Knight of Wands for Leo. The Fool. <sighs> Alright, this Knight of Wands. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So, we do have the Nine of Cups at the bottom, Seven of Pentacles reverse, Five of Swords. Here's the thing. Okay, so you're going to want to tread lightly. You're going to want to take it nice and slow. That's your best approach, okay? Because the way this could backfire is if you just jump right on in all willy-nilly and not think about, you know the repercussions or the aftermath or the long-term effects here okay if you just walk in all willy-nilly you might get yourself locked in a situation that's very hard to back out of the fool to the devil like this could be uh like leo like okay new cycle beginning but this could be a cycle that's repeating of like something that's like a toxic pattern or something that could be harmful to you or what's this devil hold on I just want to get all the facts straight, okay? Because it does look like this. Hold on, hold on. Tell me this devil. For Leo, is this a big, big concern? Is this a big red flag? Or is this just something to kind of be careful of? Tell me the devil. Stun reverse. Okay, yeah. Y'all need to be very cautious. This could be potentially harmful. Strength reverse. Let me see. Anything else about the devil? six of wands to the outside world it might look like it's a good thing on paper six of cups are okay literally remember what happened in the past y'all six of cups six of cups reverse remember what happened in the past please don't forget what happened you didn't come this far this far this way this long just to go back right you didn't do all this healing self self-reflection and all that jazz just to go back clarifying this um <laughs> all right so yes on the outside 
to other people looking in it might look perfect it might look great it might look beautiful on paper right again here are the knight of pentacles showing up again move slowly three times it's showing up move slowly okay so if someone's offering you something that's great and dandy but time will tell all right don't rush into whatever this is this looks like it could be something that really just zaps the life out of you emperor reversed and ten of swords this is clarifying the devil of what to watch out for this could be something that could drain you or really like be not good for you okay not healthy for you um this could end bad <laughs> emperor reversed to the ten of swords there's there could be a if you jump into this all willy-nilly not really think about the long-term effects this could have long-term lasting negative impacts on you um so this is really like where you leo need to take it slow i kind of am seeing knight of pentacles four pentacles you might want to hold back either until you get more information page of swords or this is it's either saying hold back from giving all the information that you have or this is saying hold back until you get more information i'm e i'm reading it either one or the other because it's these three cards where it's just like okay like either someone could be holding back information and that's why you need to take it slow you're needing to hold back and move slowly because there needs more information <laughs> or something like that y'all i don't know i don't know um nine of cups seven of pentacles reverse and then five five of swords empress judgment i don't know i mean is this too good to be true huh i hate to leave you guys kind of on like this cliffhanger vibe but like we running out of time so i guess i'll probably have to leave your reading here let me just take a look what's else so six of cups reverse nine i already looked at this yeah okay leo i would just say move with caution trust your gut i don't know this reading was kind of weird like i don't even just feel like there were so many different messages and well i will just trust that whoever this is for this one's for you okay good luck sending you lots of good vibes um good yeah good luck happy eclipse season <laughs> uh i will talk to you in your next reading leo thank you for your love and support bye